deal, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of O's Closet, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Shout out to everyone that watched last week's, not last week, shout out to everyone that watched our last episode about the room tour and just how I'm utilizing the space. I think um, it was a great, a great, great, great episode for, for me to share with you guys and just let you guys inside of this beautiful space that I use, man, that I'm in right now. So I love it. It's, it's my favorite room in the house by far. So uh, shout out to those that have been sharing my content. It's been amazing. I've been uh, getting some great responses. So, and so I really appreciate that. Thank you for all those that are commenting. I appreciate that as well, tapping in with the community. And I'll be sure to start with com commenting and responding back. But I do have some answers to some responses that I'm gonna do here today. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, you know what I mean? Or you can bang that like button right now. I would appreciate that. I want to give a special shout out to a subscriber who came through and left a comment that inspired today's episode. So shout out to Danielle Prendergast, okay? Danielle Prendergast, I hope I, hopefully I said that correctly. Uh, she recommended that I do an episode on my favorite colognes, why I wear them, and where I wear them. So. With that said, I'm gonna give you guys my top five favorite fragrances, part two. All right, so back in 2020, really to be specifically back in May 2020, I gave you guys my top five favorite fragrances. So why don't you guys go back and check out that episode at the end of this, at the end of this episode if you haven't already. See what I said held up, because it's two years, or really now three years have gone by, so or it'll be three years um, this year. So we'll see what holds up still to be true. And y'all can check check my words, see what I, see if what I'm saying is real. So y'all hold me to um, a high standard. I hold myself to a high standard. So let's make sure that uh, it's being upheld. You feel what I'm saying? So um, yeah, I, I I've, I've gathered some of my favorite colognes that I have now to this day. Um, they're all five different ones than what I chose back in 2020. And I want to get into them. I've I've gone ahead and I've, I'm going to go through this list of five fragrances or colognes um, that I think are incredible right now. They're my favorites, and I've also went ahead and I'm going to put them in a price point order, so from low to high. Okay, so something on this list for everybody. Okay, and um, yeah, just keep that in mind. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be. A specific, one of these colognes that I mentioned doesn't have to be for you today. It could be for you for, or for you or somebody else later on at the end of the year or, you know, just in the near future. You know what I mean? Just take everything that I, I tell you guys is not for you to go do immediately. It's just to inspire you, you know, to acquire some of these things or to do some of these things for yourself later on down the road. Okay? So, the first cologne I'm going to get into... Is this YSL blue? Okay. Yes, indeed. This was a gift for Christmas. It is such a great, incredible gift. All right, this YSL blue is fresh. Oh man, to be honest, for those of you who have been in the fragrance for a long time, I'm 34 years old, so I've been wearing, wearing cologne for half, over half of my life, three quarters of my life, right? This right here is very reminiscent, uh, reminiscent of Dolce Gabbana light blue, okay? So I'm pretty sure you guys have had that cologne. Man, that was like the shit when I was in high school, bro. You had to have... Oh my God, that, that when I was in high school and early on in college, that Dolce Gabbana light blue, boy, it was the shit. This is the next level, I'm trying to tell you. This is next, this is it, this is it. If you're looking for a replacement, okay, something to keep you fresh, it's not too serious, okay, but it smells so damn good, all right? So when you're not trying to be, uh, I guess, too formal, right? More if you wanna be casual and put on some fresh, fragrance this YSL cologne blue is a perfect 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 fragrance now um once you guys check out this outfit I actually decided to wear it with this fragrance right now
Okay, so as you see, you know, it's um, the, the fits aren't too crazy uh, with this type of fragrance, it, but it's a, it's a nice, clean, fresh smell. Uh, the price point is $99, extremely affordable. Definitely recommend grabbing this as soon as you can. All right, with that said, let's get on to fragrance number two. Okay, the next fragrance is another YSL. Okay, <laughs> obviously I'm loving their fragrance right now. Okay. Yes, sir, that YSL Wiley. YSL Wiley. Okay, this, this fragrance right here, now this is elevation. All right, you talk about when you want to get dressed, you want to put that shit on. You want to put that shit on, fellas? and not break the bank, oh man, this YSL Wale is it. I'm telling you, every time I wear this, my fiance is like, what the are you wearing? So you know what kind of night it's gonna be for us. You know what I mean? It, fellas, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so uh, yeah, I, 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 definitely, I, I definitely tend to wear this when I'm putting on uh, more elevated looks. Um, but to each his own, you know what I mean? That's just a recommendation for me. I try, I try to tend to let my outfit choose my fragrance, if that makes any sense. I try not to choose my fragrance before I choose my outfit, because sometimes it, it, it doesn't make sense. So I let my outfit do the choosing, and nine times out of 10, it always, this YSL always gets chosen by an elevated look. So check out how I decided to rock the fit with this fragrance right here. Dope. So as you can see, the, the look is a lot more elevated than the first look for the other YSL cologne. And um, yeah, man, this it, it's such a um, like it's such a potent fragrance. You know what I mean? It's elegant. It's sweet. I love this. I love this. The price point for the YSL Wiley is 170. All right. So fairly affordable. Okay, nothing too crazy. Um, Definitely worth picking up for, for you fellas. Definitely worth grabbing. And ladies, if you're watching, um, it's definitely worth picking up for your man or your brother or your, or your pops. All right? So check this out. Keep this on your checklist because it's something you need to grab and add to your collection ASAP. Okay. Our next fragrance is the Creed Himalaya. Yes, sir. Creed Himalaya. All right. So now we're beginning to... Uh, really take our fragrance to another level, okay? Creed, to me, is one of the top fragrances out there. Uh, there's a plethora of uh, fragrances that you could get by Creed. Uh, this is definitely, this is my second bottle that I've owned uh, since I've been collecting fragrances. And this is so nice, man. It is, uh, What do I want to say? It's like, um, mm. now this is, mm. it's fresh, it's clean. I, I like clean colognes. I don't, I don't know if that, you know, um, you know, fragrances like plugins and you get that cl clean linen. Like, not the linen, but the clean. <laughs> the clean is what I'm talking about. I like that smell in my fragrances as well. And this Himalaya definitely has one. Um, in terms of outfits, I definitely let, I definitely chose to be a little bit between, in terms of outfits, when I decide to wear this, I'm usually in between a, Mm. casual and formal so what's that chic I'm usually in that chic style uh, when I wear this and man it's I think I picked this up in Paris to be honest I picked this up in Paris 
I'm not sure where I picked it up at, but uh, it's an awesome fragrance. And like, like I said, it's a little bit elevated in terms of the fragrance world. But before we talk about price pick, let's check out what fit I chose to wear upon wearing this creed. Okay, so what y'all, first of all, what do y'all think of that look? Right now, you know what I want to know? Based off the three looks that I have shown you guys and the three fragrances that I've, I've shown you guys, I want to know what you guys' thoughts are right now. Drop it in the comments below right now. What are your thoughts? Do the fits align with the fragrances in your opinion and vice versa? I want to know. Let me know. Okay, let me know in the comments below, please. All right. Also, if you're enjoying this video, smash that like button right now. Okay, now the price point for the Creed Himalaya is $269, okay? So when I say elevation in fragrance, I mean in the way that it smells and in the price point, all right? So it's getting up there, okay? And obviously, as you can see, this is not a very big bottle, right? But sometimes a little goes a long way in terms of fragrances, okay? So keep that in mind in your terms of, and keep that in mind when you guys are deciding to purchase these fragrances uh, for yourselves or for others, okay? Okay, next up on our list. Now this is a this this is this is a good one. This is a good one. This one means something special to me because it was a, again a gift, a gift. Okay, right here we have the Louis Vuitton. Okay, immensity. Okay, or like immensity. I don't know how to pronounce that in French, golly, but you guys see that engraving right there, that 12, 20, 88, that's the gift. Shout out to my mom, she got it engraved for me for my birthday. Yeah, so this is dope, okay? Now, this right here, boy, listen, you wanna get dressed, you wanna put that shit on, a nice suit, proper, looking good, okay? This is the cologne. All right, this is my first time ever having cologne by Louis Vuitton, but let me tell you, um, it is a strong, strong competitor, all right? When I say potent in smell, when I say clean in smell, um, this has both of those qualities, but you know what else it has? It smells rich. You know what, and that sounds so superficial, right? But hear me out. You ever sit down next to someone and just be like, wow, based off the way they smell, I know they're doing well for themselves. You know what I mean? So when I say it smells rich, like that's what I mean. And that's what this Louis Vuitton immensity is bringing. It's bringing, I'm doing well for myself. You know what I mean? I, hey, this week I crushed it. I'm killing it in sales. Well, I signed so many different clients. Man, I, I, I signed so many different uh, contracts. Oh, the, that's what this is giving. I'm handling my business. I'm handling mine, all right? Now, you gotta be careful with this type of cologne, okay? This type of cologne, you, you don't wanna be wearing this type of cologne. I, I personally don't think. Uh, this is not a daytime cologne, all right? You wanna put this cologne on in the evenings, okay? When you feeling grown, you feeling sexy, and you ready to do your thing. And I didn't, I didn't go through all of those things for the past four different fragrances because I guess the fit kind of, I kind of let the fit do the talking for that. Louis Vuitton Immensity price point is at $280. So again, we are getting up there in price, uh, but that just means, well, that doesn't mean, I don't want to say that, but in this case, the, the fragrance, the aroma is elevating as well as the price point as well as what you wear with it, okay? So the Louis Vuitton Immensity is definitely definitely a fragrance I recommend grabbing. It's a fragrance that I am just getting, learning about. Uh, again, it was a gift for me this Christmas, excuse me, on my past birthday for my mother. Shout out to my mom, I love you mom. Thank you so much for the gift. Yo, fellas, tell your lady you need some Immensity by Louis Vuitton, go grab that, all right? The last fragrance on the list, okay? I had to save it for last. I had, you know, I had to do it. I had to do it. 
I had to do it. It's a big boy. We bringing out the stops, okay? So what what's happening? The price is going up, and what else is going up? The, the fragrance, the smell, the aroma is going up. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, of course, we have bond number nine, Bleecker Street. All right. Bond number nine, Bleecker Street. All right, definitely one of my favorite colognes of all time. My first time being introduced to this cologne is back in 2013. Wow. Shout out to my brother, Ronnie Hillman. Rest in peace to my brother. My brother put me on this cologne. Well, kind of, sort of. But yes, my brother put me on the Bond number nine. Wow. Him as well as Kevin Vickerson. Kevin Vickerson was a big homie of mine. Is a big homie of mine. He's now a coach at the at Michigan State. Shout out to Big Vic. Uh, but yeah, Bleecker Street, boy, bond number nine. Now we talking about elevation. We talking, stand by, we got a plane going by. Whole bunch of fly shit going on around me, you know what I'm talking about? Shit. So, uh, you talk about being fresh, you talk about being clean, you talk about making a statement. That's one thing I haven't even talked about in this episode yet. You know what I love about fragrance? It's gonna help create conversation. I just said earlier, you know, I talked about smelling rich, right? And that happens when you're out, right? You be out, you be out, you could be next to somebody, man or woman, you could be straight, you could be gay, you could be whatever, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. What, what we all are, what we all are, if, if we're fortunate enough, we all are blessed to have, you know, a sense of smell. Right, so being able to smell someone and that smells good, that smells elegant, that smells rich, that smells successful, you know, those are all the qualities that you're searching for um, in terms of fragrance. And then it all depends on what you're trying to accomplish too. If you're trying to get a woman or you're trying to be seductive, right? You, you want something sweet and uh, erratic, erotic, you know what I mean? Like these, these are the type of uh, sense that you're trying to achieve in terms of picking and selecting fragrances slash colognes. But Bleecker Street is one of my favorites. It's one of those fragrances that you could wear in the day and carry on to the night and there'd be no drop off. There aren't too many fragrances out around like that if you ask me in my opinion. You know, um, <laughs> I actually have another fit for for this fragrance. So matter of fact, let's just get into how I decided, uh, let's just get into the fit that I decided to wear with this fragrance right here. Okay, as you can see, you know, the fit, matter of fact, as you can see, the fit was solid. It wasn't too crazy. Uh, it was one of those fits that you could definitely carry on over into the nighttime, from the day into the evening, okay? So, yeah, those are my top five favorite colognes. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the price point, the price point for Bleecker Street is $2.95. So, got to break out the big bucks. Um, again, you know, this may not be for everybody right now, but I promise y'all, it is something we all want and need in our collection. So, if you can't get it now, put it on your wish list, stack your paper, save your dough. It is, we are headed into a depression. If the economy is at a fucked up time, a fucked up state, so be smart with your cash, right? I'm not saying to go out and be, do nothing stupid. I want to advise you guys to do the right things in life, all right? So think about that though. But when you are ready and you got 300 to drop on some fragrance, you gotta grab this Bleecker Street, okay? Bleecker Street, go pick that up, okay? Those are my top five fragrances right now. Before we conclude this week's episode or this episode, I wanna just kinda go back 
to our 2020 episode of for my top five favorite fragrances and talk about those tips and see if they still hold true. So tip number one was you wanna apply fragrance directly out of the shower before putting on lotion, okay? Now, I don't feel like that today, okay? Today I'm using body creams, uh, excuse me, body butters, um, before I put on my fragrance and it's been helping my fragrance stay on longer, last longer. And uh, yeah, so that I, I don't, I don't, I want to say that I want to say today in 2023, we're going to go ahead and scratch tip number or tip number one off the list from 2020. All right. That's going in the trash. All right. Let's get rid of tip number one. Okay. Tip number two was you want to spray cologne. Okay. You want to spray cologne three to six inches away from your wrists or from your point. All right. So that still holds true, all right? You don't want to get up close and personal on your fragrance. You want it to spray, all right, and land on the skin. It's still slightly mist onto the skin, okay? Tip number three was you want to attack your pulse areas, okay? You want to hit here, all right, your wrists, okay? The bending point, all right, where our arms bend right here at the bicep and forearm, okay? Behind our ears, okay? Those are all points we want to attack in terms of putting the fragrance on. Obviously, I know people like to spray it on the body, right? But the areas where you're gonna secrete, where you're gonna sweat, right? That's where you want this, that's where you want the fragrance at. Okay. Tip number four was we don't want to rub cologne into the skin. That tip still holds true to this day. Do not rub cologne in. You wanna dab. Dab it in. Ah, ah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Dad, and tip number five was do not, do not, and I repeat, do not, do not spray cologne on your genital areas. No. <laughs> Ooh, you talk about your balls being on fire. Boy, that is a no, no. Please do not spray fragrance on your private parts. All right, fellas, that is a no, no. All right, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode on my top five favorite fragrances part two. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and bang that like button, comment which fragrance you thought was the best or which fragrance you really would like to have in your collection tomorrow. Subscribe and on that note, I'm out y'all. Peace.